ASAP's vision is to strengthen societal resilience to climate and weather extremes. And we want to do that through collaboration with all of the people who are involved in decision making. And that means also the people who are affected by the decisions to make a more resilient society that is risk aware. So we know that the climate outside the window is just one example of what the world could have thrown at us. The prospect of climate change is likely to bring changes to the extremes. This will further exacerbate society's vulnerability and therefore the importance of efforts such as ESEP. Risk communication is a really important aspect in resilience because without understanding what risks we face, we can't make resilient decisions. So a great example of this is the one in a hundred year flood event which people start to think means will only happen once every 100 years. But it's a probability of 1% per year. And if you start to look at that differently, that's about a 1 in 4 chance of it happening in the lifetime of a mortgage. And so they'll start to make different decisions about resilience and where is safe to, to live. Are they happy to risk living with a beautiful riverfront view? Or would they rather be a bit more re removed so that they don't come so close to being flooded? One of the main programs within the ESEP is the Global Risk Resilience and Impacts Toolbox, which is a way of delivering the science to a non-scientific audience to help support the decisions that they're making. The bedrock of GRIT is a database. This database comprises hazard data, both current climate and future climate, and also exposure and vulnerability data. These data sets are all based in the latest climate science, thereby allowing stakeholders to access uh, the latest information of relevance. Decades of government investment has led to advanced climate models, but these climate models were never designed with stakeholders in mind. To borrow a quote from Jerry Brashear, climate models are like symphonies that were never heard. So we want to make these climate models heard by people who may benefit from them. ESEP has annual workshops where we gather together the relevant expertise to address weather society science questions and develop applications. We have strong ties to industry and academia across the globe. We also work locally with local governments and uh, local resources. Graceful failure is something that structural engineers have been using for years in designing earthquake resilient buildings where the building will fail but there's still a safe exit for the people, the occupants within the building. So the concept of graceful failure as we're looking at it is to accept that failure happens. So instead of thinking about the unknown, think about how do we control it? How do we make sure that we can get back and operational as quick as possible with minimal damage, definitely minimal loss to, of life, and to rebound in a resilient way? It's likely in the future we will see climate extremes that will be more extreme than anything we've experienced in our past history. In a warming scenario, we know the climate system is riddled with thresholds, so this warming is likely to send us past some of these critical thresholds, opening up the opportunity for weather extremes that haven't happened ever before. We don't need to wait for failure to happen before we can understand its impacts. The technology is there today to understand the weather and climate extremes that may happen so we can dig down into this new understanding and these new data sets to really understand and prepare for the events before they happen.